Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. You know, recently I posted a video about building a didgeridoo with five PVC scraps, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you if you're curious. But uh, during that video, I did not get the didgeridoo finished, and I said that I would post a follow-up video, and that'll be today's video. Also in that video, I didn't do a lot of playing of the, the didgeridoo, so I'll do some of that today so you can hear what this thing sounds like. Now, first of all, here it is, and this is its finished form. So the first thing you'll notice is from the tip to the middle to the mouthpiece, you see it does like a blue fade. And I'm actually calling this one the water didge. And uh, that's because I made a different video about how to build a PVC didgeridoo back in uh, 2021. And that one is over here. And with this one, you can see I did from red to orange to yellow. So I call this one the fire didge. So I figured, you know, we'll make the next one the water didge, why not? So additionally, in addition to painting it, I also put some decals that I had here. That one's a dolphin and a starfish. I thought that would kind of add to the, uh, the sort of water theme. And then uh, additionally, I also put like three strips of white marking tape up here and two down here towards the other end, um, just to give it just a little more aesthetic weight. I could probably get a few more of these die cut stickers and maybe put a couple more in this area or maybe something up here just to kind of set it off. But for now, this works. Yeah. This one again is in the key of E. So if you remember from the last video, I had said that it was just a little bit sharp and uh, that I should be able to fix that. So what I did is here, and I'll see if I can show this to you. And so right here, I got a PVC cap from the hardware store and it's literally just a cap. It just was solid on this end. And then I just cut that out um, and uh, sanded it so that it was nice and rounded, kind of finished it out, and uh, then just put it, you know, cemented it on there, and it extended the overall length of the didgeridoo by about an inch, and it's almost a perfect E now. It, it, it really gave it just enough to pull it uh, back down to where it needs to be, so. Now, additionally, when I painted this one, what I did is I painted the whole thing this kind of aqua color that's here in the middle. So I painted the whole thing that, and then I went back and I did the dark blue here, this way, and kind of went into a fade, and then I did the light blue from here and kind of came up this way and went into a fade. And then I went back to the middle color and kind of fixed the fades there. Now painting a fade is always kind of difficult and I've gotten a little better at it over the years, but this one here I did the more traditional where you paint the whole thing yellow and then you paint from here upward orange and then you paint from here to here red. Um, and so there's basically like three layers and that works great. It does give you a really nice fade look like this. Um, but I feel like this one actually ended up looking just a little bit smoother, a little bit more like a, like a burst kind of finish where you look at where those colors fade. So, and what's interesting is this blue one, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this too well, but if I put them here, I'll put them at an angle. I have both the ends at the same spot and you can see the blue one is significantly longer, but it's actually in a higher key. Um, this one's in an E, whereas this one is in a C. So this one actually ended up in a higher key, even though it's longer, but I think it's, it's probably has something to do with the way the different, um, you know, uh, diameters increase as it goes down. So I guess the last thing to do is to let you hear this baby. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll show up in some of my other videos, but let's do a couple sound clips on this hero uh, water ditch. So I changed the camera angle here to make this uh, a little bit easier to kind of uh, hear what it sounds like. Um, now keep in mind, I am by no means a accomplished didgeridoo player. The first time I ever tried to play one was the video where I made this and that wasn't that long ago and I really haven't practiced that much. So I am not going to impress you with my didgeridoo skills, but it will give you an idea of what it sounds like. 